So what is the main difference between a variable neutral density filter and a mist variable neutral density filter? You guessed it, one has the mist effect built in and one does not. Both of these are going to reduce the amount of light entering in your camera from two to five stops or six to nine stops, which effectively is just gonna allow you to shoot at slower shutter speeds to mimic motion properly or slower shutter speeds for long exposure photography. Now the real difference is just gonna come into the amount of halation that you're going to see in highlights. Just the straight VND, most of these lights in the background, you're not seeing a lot of halation in the highlights. Whereas once you throw the mist VND on, this is a quarter strength diffusion filter. So you're going to start to see highlights bloom you might even see my skin tone kind of smooth out a little bit here, but essentially it is just combining an effect of a mist diffusion filter into the same glass element as a variable neutral density. So you don't have to stack filters because oftentimes if you were gonna have to stack a mist filter behind a variable neut neutral density filter, you're gonna start to see vignetting at those wider focal ranges. And most people who shoot with diffusion filters are pretty much always shooting with diffi diffusion filters. So that's why we built the mist edition. So you can have just one filter on your lens cleanly at all times, super easy to manage and low profile to shoot with. So let's go into a couple just comparison shots at different focal lengths with this camera. So you can really start to see the difference of just what a VND filter is going to be and what the mist effect is going to do. And I'll also talk about the different options as we're going through these as well. Both of these are gonna have the same exact color profile and look. So if you are switching between the two of either the mist edition or the regular edition. They're both gonna match color perfectly. These are available in the Helix Maglock series, as well as just the standard PMVND threaded series. And even some of our drone filters and GoPro filters will have a mist VND effect in them. And the, the look is gonna be exactly the same as what you're seeing here. That same exact diffusion strength with the mist filter built in, as well as the signature edition with just the neutral density features. Hopefully that video illustrated the difference is of the look and image composition you're gonna get with each filter. If you have any specific questions though, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Happy to answer them. See you on the next one.